Hi students, let us continue with the topic, the diagrams in unified modeling language. So, uh, total there are nine diagrams that are present in the unified modeling language. So, the first one is a class diagram that we discussed in the previous video. Now, let us see the object diagram. Object diagram shows a set of objects and their relationships. Wherein, whereas in class diagram, the class diagram consists of set of classes, uh, interfaces, collaborations and the relationship be, uh, between those you call it as a class diagram. Whereas object diagram consists of set of objects and relationships. So compulsory a thing should be there and the relationship should be there then it forms a diagram. If you want to make any diagram you need the things and you need the relationships to come uh, connect those things. So here the set of objects. So these are all the objects. And these objects are connected by links. So these links are called relationships. So object diagram represents static snapshot of instance of the things found in a class diagram. So just it is also a static snapshot. Just like a class, the object diagram is also a static structure uh, of instance of things found in a class diagram. So that's why we are uh, the object can is. Uh, represented like with underline so wherever you have seen the class name with an object name that should be underlined that represents the object so here a c is an object of company class and d2 is an object of company department d1 is an object of company department so a department is related to the class company Okay, and the same way here the department D3 is an object related to the department. And here the person is a class which is related to the class department. So like that a communication will be there. So here the set of objects, every object is communicated with the another object. Just communications, uh, just passing the messages from one object to the another object. So these are the objects and, this, and these are the here the anonymous object this is the contact information and this represents the links or you call it as a relationships and here these are the attribute values for each object these attribute values are already initialized so this is about the object diagram now let us see the third diagram that is a use case diagram use case diagram shows set of use cases and actors so here this use case diagram consists of use cases and actors and relationships so compulsory relationships should be there and the things are use cases and the actors so by combining all these special kinds of use cases are nothing but and actors are nothing but the special kind of classes. In the class you would already declare uh, the actions that has to be performed and the relationships. So a use case diagram shows a set of use cases. These are all the use case symbols. Set of use cases, actors, these are the actors and the relationships. So this is the relationships. So this represents the use case diagram. This use case diagrams address the static use case view of a system. So this is also a static use case view of a system. Especially it is important in organizing and modeling the behavior of a system. So the use case diagram is uh, just representing the behavior of a system. The model is going to represent the behavior of a system. Here you can see the example. This is a subsystem. It's a bank ATM system. The bank ATM system is, uh, who are the actors here? The actors are customer, ATM technician and the bank. So the three actors are there here. Okay. Customer, ATM machine and the bank. So here the bank ATM, what, we, what the customer will do? The customer goes to the ATM center he can check the balance by logging into his account. He can deposit the fund. He can withdraw the cash. He can transfer the funds. So these are all the actions that uh, this customer is doing. So that's why we are represented in the use cases. The actions that a person is going to perform, that act actions can be represented in use cases. 
So the check balance, whenever he is doing the operations, it's everything will be reflected in the bank. Account will be there in the bank. His account, the customer account will be there in the bank. So whatever the operation that he is performing, whatever the action that is he is doing, suppose if he withdraw the cash, that will be stored in the bank. Means the updations will be stored in the bank. Suppose if any ATM has to be maintained, means the ATM has to be filled with money. Means he ha it should be deposited with money. So the money brought from the bank and placed in the ATM center by the technician. Okay. Or, or else he can just maintain in the ATM center as well as if any repair is occurred to that ATM machine, he is just uh, respond, uh, giving message to the bank. So the technician is maintaining the ATM center at the same time whenever the repair is occurred so that repair is informing to the bank people. So this is the ATM. The customer is doing these type of actions and the ATM technician person that is the technician person is doing these type of operations. He is doing only maintenance. He is doing the repair section and the bank is just communicating all these customer and the technician with the help of relationships. So this is about the use case diagram. Thank you.